Wow. All righty guys, what the heck is up? Welcome back to the channel. My wife did something super awesome for me. She got me a present for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I know that's cool, huh? But uh, I come to these car washes because they spray off the underneath of the truck. And uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we got road salt, road grime, all that crud. Um, so it's all about the underneath. So you might as well pay the couple extra bucks to do the full wash instead of just getting the underneath sprayed off. But uh, today you guys are going to see what that present is right after I'm out of this car wash. Let's go! A Grande Nitro Cold Brew. Anything in the nitro? Nope. Right. I had to get coffee too. I got a gift card for my birthday. Alrighty guys. We made it back to the garage. Um, are you guys ready to see what my wife got me? She's awesome. I'm super pumped. I literally didn't know anything about this. It just showed up Valentine's Day. She goes, here you go. Here's your Valentine's Day present. She's amazing. Bam. You see that? S and B filters. S and B filters. There it is right there. See that picture? Awesome. What would a sweet new part be without a proper unboxing? Wow. It's just a bunch of parts. All right, so real quick, here's the deal. This one here, this is the SMB air intake for the 2017 and up 6.7 Power Stroke. Um, now, if you guys are familiar with Power Strokes, but if not, here you go, here's a little lesson. The 2000 to 11 to 15 6.7 Power Strokes had the intake coming to the front of the truck. Hold on, I'll just go show you. So on the 2011 to 2015 six, seven power strokes, the intake came from right here and it routed to right here. So here's your little air induction scoop that the air comes into and then your intake was immediately right behind it. But the guys at Ford for 2017 and up decided to move the battery where the intake used to be, the intake filter, and then they put the air filter back here. So what happens now is your air intake goes in through here it is routed through this little hose tube thing down underneath the battery and then into your air filter box, which is uh, right here. But the S&B air intake relocates the battery back to the old position and puts the air intake filter box right here, which will have a direct airflow right through here into the air filter housing. Um, so now you guys get a good picture of what a 17 situation looks. I'm going to import a 2011 to 15 right here. And you can see how the air filter was um, flip-flop where the battery is currently now on my truck. So I don't really know the whole reasoning behind Ford doing that, but S&B um, solves that problem and flip-flops it back. So this one here for the 2017 and up comes with the whole battery tray, um, relocation brackets, the whole situation to move your battery back there, um, extension cables for your battery cables to reach the battery in the behind position. Um, so here, here is what we get in the kit. Um, all your rubber grommet seal things for the intake and then for the box. Um, this is for your air filter intake housing, which I just showed you on the truck. Um, this is the actual filter case box itself. Um, as you can see here, here is your filter. I opted for the uh, dry replaceable filter. I just don't like oiled filters. I like this filter here. Um, when it gets dirty, I can just replace it. Um, so this is it here. And here is your air filter box itself, the housing. Um, so this port here will connect right to the front air intake porch, which I showed you, which is right above my headlight. This connects directly to there with this little rubber seal here. So you have a direct airflow right into the air filter, which would be right here. Um, you have your glass little top thingy for the air filter case. And then what's really good about s and I've used s and for... A long time um, back when I had my shop I did s and pretty much on any installation anyone who wanted an intake for their diesel I recommended s and B the installation is very very nice they have great airflow there's actual data behind the air intake and their product overall is just a very nice product and look at these directions they give you I mean like this is a booklet 
If you can't follow these directions and put your own intake on, then, I mean, check that out. These are super detailed, bolt by bolt, step by step, color pictured instructions. I mean, S and B killing the game with instructions. So if anyone has a common set of tools and they have these directions, I guarantee you, you can put this intake on. It is a little more in depth because you have to like relocate the battery and you gotta move some ground wires and you gotta do the tray, but seriously, it's nothing. A plus on the directions, S and B. You have your mount for the new battery tray, which is hard metal. This is the actual battery tray itself. So here you have your whole brand new battery tray. Your battery will sit in there. Um, the air intake tube. All of your hardware, plugs, extension plugs, battery terminal cable extensions, and then all of your clamps, grommets, bolts, screws, etc. And then this is the seal that goes onto your actual air filter housing. So now we must get to work. Let's go. All right, guys, let's check this out. I'm about 10 minutes into this. Ah, maybe a little over 10, maybe 15. No more than 15 minutes in. Um, I have everything removed. So I have the stock air filter box removed and I have the battery tray. Stock intakes, everything's removed, everything's disconnected. Um, that is super cut and dry. If you need to follow along with the directions and you have to split apart your factory um, battery tray to get this U-bolt here out of it because you retain this for the S and B kit. Um, it's super easy. This is the this is the air channel thing that I showed you guys earlier. This goes down and around. Um, this is along the bottom of your battery tray, so it sits like this. This connects here, and then your battery tray sits like this on top of this. So what happens is your air, where I showed you guys earlier, goes in up here down and under the battery to the uh, air filter box. So you just have to split this apart because you have to get the U-bolt out here. All right guys, I just wanted to show you real quick before I threw the battery in. This is what the tray looks like. So this is your new battery tray supplied through SNB where the battery will now sit. Um, so the battery went from here to back there. <clears throat> I just wanted to show you it real quick before I threw the battery in. They give you new mounting hardware along with this big mounting bracket here that starts here and runs all the way to the back of the uh, actual battery tray itself. And then you have your, obviously, the four bolts that were supplied. And then this is your old ground, which you took off from this ground location here, routed it through the tray. Um, there is a hole right there, routed through the tray, and then put it in the other ground location, which would be right here. Super easy in the directions. It shows you exactly how to place everything. Alrighty, guys, we got everything hooked up. Um, battery is in the new battery tray. Air filter box is in. I retained the old mounting bolts for the actual battery tray. Um, two inside down on the bottom and then two on the side that go into the fender. Um, I did install the foam things here, but I didn't do the plug. The plug down on the bottom is optional and I didn't do it. Um, here is your two extensions. They give you actually um, three heat wrap things for each extension. So your extension's in there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's just a simple bolt, bolts together just like that one there, but they bolt to each other and set up to a terminal. And then you have double red heat shrink, and then you have this fabric heat shrink stuff that goes over the uh, red stuff to give you a final full on seal, I guess, to keep everything secured. Now we have to just make sure that all this stuff is in good position down here. And then you do have to pull back your air conditioning service thing here. You gotta pull this back just a hair because if not, it'll be right in the middle for your actual intake tube to hook to the engine. All right, guys, we're warping forward a little bit. We are 100% done. Everything's tight, things are zip tied, things, everything's plugged. We are ready to fire. I think I got all my tools. Hopefully there's nothing down there. 
Um, a magnetic bolt slash tool tray is like a huge deal. So, you know, you pull a socket off, just throw it on there, it'll stick instead of going down there and then you spend half of your day looking for the lost socket or a bolt. Um, another handy thing to have whenever doing something like this is your uh, push pin, push rivet, the plastic push rivet popper tool thingy. Um, huge help. done we're getting out of here temperatures are dropping super low that's it Alrighty guys, we are 100% done. We are actually done now. Um, this was the plug for the actual air filter uh, box I didn't put it in um, but anyways, yeah, the install is super, super easy. These directions are absolutely awesome. Thumbs up to s &B for these awesome directions. So basically, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go put some miles in the truck, and I'm going to give you guys an honest review of what I truly think. Um, we'll go over the install. We'll go over performance. We'll go over fuel mileage gain, possibly um, any performance gains. Um, so look forward to that video there, the uh, honest review of the s intake for 2017 uh, Power Strokes. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you guys want one of these for your 6.7 power truck, hit the link in the description. Check it out. But that's it, guys. You've seen it. It's on the truck. I'm headed to the house. As always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!